People can't take the heat. I don't know. I'm putting on weight for the summer. <laughs> so I can get a big tan. <laughs> so I can have people point to me on the beach. God, look at the size of that tan. <laughs> God, that's a lot bigger than it was last year, isn't it, Kevin? <laughs> Thanks for noticing my weight problem. <laughs> people hate the heat, though. They can't stand it. They, well, I can't take it. I hate it. It's disgusting. I'm sweating. I don't feel good. I can't breathe. Well, why don't you move to the colder weather? Because I hate the cold. I want to live in a mall where the temperature's always the same and where people are nice. I hate it. Mall. That's all I do. I'm in the mall all the time. I go shopping. People mistake me for an employee. <laughs> Ladies come up to me, pardon me, sir. Where do I return the gifts? I'll give them to me. <laughs> Take anything you like and walk right out that door with them. <laughs> Are you sure? I've never heard of that policy before. Oh, ladies are stuck at the door. He said I could take it! I'm not a shoplifter, he's crazy! You know, Thanksgiving is probably a very special American holiday. Probably uh, the favorite in the Meanie family. And as the family keeps growing, my mother keeps buying a bigger and bigger turkey. Last year, the turkey weighed over 185 pounds. It had a tattoo. <laughs> Riding around the front lawn on a Harley. <laughs> Took my sister hostage for 24 hours. <laughs> and the Zeke actually had to put on his flame retardant pilgrim suit and subdue him with a flamethrower. <laughs> he was always dressing up for Thanksgiving. One year, he dressed up as a butterball turkey. My Aunt Rose couldn't stop talking about it. Oh, my God! Look at Zeke! Dressed it up like a butterball turkey. I can't believe it. Look at him sitting in a roasted pan wearing go-go boots. <laughs> Pouring gravy on his torso with a big old ladle. He's going to get arrested for public self-basting. <laughs> he was never sitting in a roasting pan wearing go-go boots. You're like a crazy person saying that. Some of these restaurants, all-you-can-eat restaurants, have you seen these? All-you-can-eat. You're not supposed to eat all-you-can-eat. I saw this one restaurant, it was called More Than All-You-Can-Eat. Who goes to these restaurants? I'm not done yet, I still have a little bit more room left in my esophagus. <laughs> I'm really enjoying me, I don't know if you realize that or not. Assuming there's no blockage in your colon, would you like to take a look at our dessert wagon? <laughs> this thing is huge. Teamsters are driving it in. <laughs> Cheesecake's in. <laughs> and that's not any cheesecake. That's imported New York cheesecake. Did you ever see that on the menu? Imported New York cheesecake. Hey, Billy, let's go down to the docks. The cheesecake's in. <laughs> Cheesecake boats are coming, we'll party tonight. Cheesecake boats are coming, we'll party tonight. Dinner. You always seem to get that hot plate. You know what I'm talking about? They love to give you that hot plate. You have a salad, appetizer, then they come out like it's a big deal. That's a hot plate, sir, hot plate, ma'am. You're going to have to leave the restaurant. The plates are too hot. You got some crazy chef in the kitchen putting plates in the oven. He's not cooking anything. He's cooking plates. Waiters walking around with big asbestos suits on, big mittens on their hands. That's a hot plate, you better not touch that. As soon as the waiter leaves the table, your hands go right to the plate. Ah! <laughs> Tables are bursting into flames. People are leaving the restaurant with their hands bandaged. The food was good, but the plates were so hot! Do you have any Vaseline for the sores on my hands? <sighs> I brought my nephew to McDonald's. He wanted to get the hot apple pie, begging me for it. Uncle Kevin, I want the hot apple pie. I want the pie, the, the pie! Here you go. Ah! <laughs> you gotta read those labels, young fella. Warning, filled with lava. <laughs> ah! Famous the hot plate joke. Ah! It's the same joke. Ah! <laughs> Last few weeks really haven't been that good. I broke up with my girlfriend and, uh, well, 
I guess you really couldn't call it a breakup. She was killed. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. You see, I bought her this raccoon coat, and she got hit with a car across on the street. <laughs> Apparently, she froze when she saw the headlights. <laughs> my mother said to me, why do you buy them raccoon coats? <laughs> That's the third one this year that froze in the headlights. <laughs> taking them up to the mountains during hunting season and sending them out at midnight for goat's milk. That's not right. You're 35 years old. When are you going to get married? They want me to get married. They keep asking, when are you going to get married? What about that girl with the 1-900 number? Why don't you call her? She keeps calling us for our credit card number. 